our top stories tonight. Then dare. The once beloved boy band have broken up due to a scandalous scandal involving two of the members. Then dare. The world's fastest man has been beaten by a pensioner. Then dare. And the Flappy Birds has caused one child in California to barricade himself inside a Toys R Us. Then dare. And will the weather continue to rage the South? We now go to J to Windy Testerberger with the report. G'day John, and thank you. Tonight I've got the weather in the set. As you can see, we have highs of 7 in St Helia. The lowest temperature is in Swindon with a temperature of 2 degrees. In Gloucester, Bristol, Exeter, Bournemouth, Newquay and Plymouth, the temperature is 4 degrees. There might be some showers of rain and maybe even some chances of snow in Wales. Thanks, John. Thanks for that, Wendy. We now go to Clark Kent with, with a shocking development in the Flappy Bird Police standoff. John, I'm here in South California where a six-year-old child has violently taken three people hostage and barricaded himself into a Toys R Us. He says he'll be willing to let the hostages go if his demands are met. We have comprehension that his demands are that a uh, professional comes in and beats his world record on Flappy Birds. As you can see, the army have stepped in because the police say they are just too busy at the current moment in time. As uh, you see, I'm joined here by Matt White. And uh, Matt, would you like to give us your opinion on this uh, whole situation? One second, don't make me lose. Come on! So, so we're, we're rolling. Could, would you like to give us your uh, whole opinion on the situation, man? Oh, uh, well, I think it's quite stupid. Come on, it's only a game, but it's quite addictive. What do you think about the uh, army stepping in instead of the police? Well, they're not really doing anything, so it's not much help. Okay, well, viewers can stay tuned at our online website. And uh, back to you in the studio, John. That's very interesting stuff there, Clark. We've just received breaking word that James Pickleweener will be talking to the one who beat the great Speedmeister. I'm talking about the pensioner who beat Usain Bolt. Pensioner, age 74, used to be a sprinter when she was younger. She was one of the fastest in Britain. Her 100 metre time was 11.6 seconds. So the fastest woman in Britain to date, when the granny travelled to Jamaica for a nice summer holiday. Bolt caught, caught wind of it. Bolt arranged for them to meet up at a local racetrack. They had spent a couple of hours talking about their achievements. And finally, they did what everyone was waiting for them to do, race. As they waited for the gun to go off, Margaret took a last swig of her Raspberry Lucasade. On your marks, get set, go. They were zooming off down the track. Bolt was ahead. Then suddenly, Palmer starts to really push hard, just managing to overtake Bolt. Bolt starts to really push hard as he sees Palmer overtake him but it's not enough. They cross the finish line. Palmer wins with just two hundredths of a second. We've got an interview with Margaret after. Afterwards, we asked her, we asked how she's been able to keep up her speed all these years. She replied, all you need to do is enjoy life like it's never going to end and drink lots of Lucasade and lots of Mackie D's. Oh, it's Miss Palmer. She's ringing me. Hello, Miss Palmer. Hello. Is this thing on? Yes, it is on. You're on live TV. Oh, who is this? 
Mr. Pickawina from uh, BBC News. Oh, I was trying to call my grandson. Oh, sorry, but bye then. Bye bye. We've just had some very shocking news in the world of sport. We now go to James Pickleween and the clarify. James? Breaking news just in. Ronaldo and Messi are moving to Godman Town. Hey. A record break breaking transfer fee of two ninety nine each. Hey. Godman are paying one pound per week. Hey. Real Madrid let him go for two ninety nine. Hey. Barcelona let him go for two ninety nine. Hey. They should have a good future at the club. Hey! So, that's all we have time for here on BBC News number 27. I hope you've had a lot of fun tonight and stay classy.